Shaham Williams has a very positive relationship with cooking and eating, but apart from the sensuous side of the experience, she also sees food as fuel for the warrior woman. It's an inspiring thought and it's the theme for the menu that she's going to share with us today. Whether you're talking about food, lifestyle or life in general, Shaham Williams believes in keeping it real. And this is why she and Zahra Saeed complement each other so well in their authentic movements, empowering women to nurture their true selves. There is a huge shift in the world towards food, not just as a way to sustain us, but also as a way to heal us. Shaham Williams is making authentic food, not just to benefit her clients' physical well-being, but also their emotional and spiritual well-being. I'm very excited to be spending some time in the kitchen with this authentic food champion. Shaham, what are we making? So for starters, we're making a pea and mint soup. For mains, we're making a quinoa buddha bowl. And for dessert, we're doing a chia pudding. That sounds yummy. Where do we start? Okay, so let's start with our pea and mint soup. I'm going to heat up my pot and place my coconut oil into the pot. Then we're going to put our garlic in to the pot. And we can smell that lovely garlic aroma. Now we will add our onion. We're just going to let this brown for a few minutes. Shaham, what exactly is authentic food? It's about choosing wholesome, healthy food to fuel your body. These are looking nice and brown and golden and ready for the next ingredient, which is our sweet potato, just to bulk up the soup a bit. So I'm going to give that a nice stir. The next ingredient is our vegetable stock. This gives it some yummy flavor. So let's just leave that to simmer. What ingredients make a dish authentic? I like fresh, seasonal, healthy, market food, vegetables, and it's really affordable. I think these potatoes are ready for the next ingredient. We're going to add our peas into the soup. Now I'm going to allow these peas just to cool for a bit before we blitz it up. And while that's cooling, we're going to start with our quinoa buddha bowl. We're going to add some quinoa to our bowl. We're going to add some lovely orange carrot over here. And then I'm going to add some baby spinach, some cabbage, and then we're going to add our beetroot. I love beetroot. Now we're going to add our edamame beans, which was just steamed and taken out of its shell. And lastly, we'll add some avo for some yumminess and some good fats. And we will add some microgreens to top it off. So now I'm just going to drizzle over some orange dressing that I made, which is just orange juice, some maple syrup, a little bit of salt, olive oil, and some chili for some spice. Mm. And I love adding edible flowers to all my salads. This really is a gorgeous Buddha bowl. I know, and it's full of healthy, wholesome, nutritious food. So now I'm sure the soup's cooled down quite enough, but before we blitz it, we're going to add our mint. Mint just makes it taste nice and fresh and full of flavor. Let's blitz it up. Oh, and it's blitzing so nicely now that everything's soft and cooled down. I'm going to add some pepper for seasoning. Same with the salt. We'll just add some salt to season the soup up and give it a nice big stir. Lastly, now that our soup is done, we're going to finally plate so we can enjoy it. So now that our soup's in our glass bowl, we're going to use some coconut milk to drizzle on top of our soup just to give it a little bit of a coconut kick and flavor. And to top off, we're going to use our micro herb to make it look pretty. For you, what is the essence of mouth-watering food? Try new ingredients, try new spices, be playful, and enjoy making food. Enjoy being in the kitchen. So are sweet treats out of the question? Absolutely not. There's always a way to make a healthy, nutritious dessert. You have to show me some. Sure, let's get into it. So this is some chia seeds that I've soaked overnight in some coconut milk, and they've thickened up quite nicely. Now we're going to add some raspberries for fruit and flavor and tang. And then we're going to add some roasted coconut flakes because we love coconut, don't we? <laughs> and again, for some extra zazz, some roasted coconut. And lastly, for the sweetness, we're going to add some maple syrup. Oh, doesn't that look so divine? Like a real treat. Like a real treat. I love pretty things, so I will add my coconut to make my plate look lovely and pretty. 
and we will add our flour to our plate and food. It looks too beautiful to eat. I think we should try though. Zach, please take this to the table and I'll bring the other dishes. Sure thing, boss. Shaham, I know my body is going to feel so spoiled eating this food. Well, we spent a lovely afternoon making it. Let's enjoy it. Shaham, what is your message for 16 days of activism for no violence against women and children? Everything starts with you. You need to make changes with yourself before you can change anybody else. Just always remember that you are enough, I am enough, and start having a voice. Speak up whenever you need to speak up. Shall we? Yes. That mint adds such a fresh level to it. Mm.